On this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, I'm the very first person to spend the night in my sister's tiny house, so will I survive? We'll find out. So a little while back on Twitter, I posted up a poll, mostly as a joke, initially saying, hey, how many of you guys want to see me spend the night in my sister's tiny house? And you know who you are. You voted yes. So here I am making good on my promise. Or more like my stupid question. So in short, this is where I'm going to be spending the night. Sorry if the lighting's kind of bad. Lighting up here never got done, and I'm just using a little uh, work light for lighting. But I have a little space heater getting things a bit warmer up here. According to Google, it's going to be in about the f low 40s tonight here. So obviously I have a sleeping bag. I have a beanie on. I've got self-inflating air mattress, a foam pad, and the cloth thing to keep everything clean. So, once we get inside, I'll update you guys. And if you guys are wondering just how much light those little LED strips put off, see for yourself. I mean, at least for me and my eyeballs, this whole area down here is decently lit, which is impressive considering how small they are. Okay, now let me get up there. I'm gonna shut them off for the night. Okay, so sorry again if the lighting and the camera angle are pretty bad on this. I'm quite literally propping the camera up against the wall using my little GoPro handle and I have the um, shop light hopefully aiming some light at me. So I'm like totally gambling on this working, but it's pretty nice in here. My sister's a little space heater. According to what it says, bump the temperature up about 15 20 degrees so it's actually a lot warmer up here than it is down there which is really nice um not sure how well i'm gonna sleep up here but i'm actually pretty confident um it should be noted that i do get cold very easily if you guys remember from the gopro handles in the ocean video well, we both knew you were gonna be freezing after this i know Quite literally, I was in the ocean for no more than 15 minutes, and even in a full body wetsuit, day before Thanksgiving, I pretty much had like mild hypothermia, which was kind of scary. Thankfully, I warmed up, but it wasn't fun. So, here's the hoping all goes well, and being that I am filming this at what time is it? 10:51 on. Christmas Eve, a very Merry Christmas to everybody, and if this video isn't released by the New Year, or it is afterwards, a very Happy New Year, and here's to hoping all goes well with this really crazy idea. Okay, I'm gonna turn down for the night. If anything exciting happens, like I can't sleep or I say chicken and run to my parents' house, which is not far away from here, like literally it's like 100 feet from this, I'll let you guys know. So uh, here's to a good night's sleep. Hey everyone, well, if you can't tell, I survived the night in the tiny house. I woke up around, I think it was 4 a.m. I was absolutely freezing and I checked the temperature on my phone for the 
general area I was in, and it was literally hovering, like, just above freezing. Okay, if you need any more proof as to how cold it is, this wood filler has water on the top, and... At least the top is frozen solid. So, I don't know if this thin... I mean, thin sleeping bag was enough to keep me warm in that, but... I did actually survive the night, considering that I get cold pretty easily. That's impressive. So, now I'm going to work on making my way back on over to my parents' house, which you probably... Oh my gosh, there's frost on the roof. Yeah, I definitely think that if Audrey were to put up some, like, curtains and maybe even set up something that she can tear up and uh, pull down that goes over that area it might not be a bad idea because then it'd be very easy for her to trap the heat in a very localized area and being that glass transmits heat really well you know you get the idea so I'm definitely glad to say that believe it or not I actually quite liked sleeping in here personally I don't know if I could see myself living in something like this long term but it was definitely a lot nicer than my current sleeping setup when I come to visit which is my parents couch so you know not not complaining about the fact that I have somewhere to stay when I visit it's just comparatively this is pretty sweet so I guess I'll conclude the video here um, it's Christmas morning so I'm gonna go on in and celebrate Christmas with the family I hope you guys actually enjoyed this. It was actually it was actually kind of fun doing something like this. And the next time I come and visit, hopefully a lot more, more will be done on the tiny house. It's just there was a very short time frame from when I last visited until the time that we shot this video. So there was no real way to make an update video on it, if you will. But I'm hoping, being that I'm probably going to be down probably in the summer to visit again, Hopefully a lot more work will be done on it. So I guess I'll uh, see you guys in the new year.